Hey guys and happy Tuesday. So as you can see, I don't have no weave in my hair today because I have to take an MRI and I had to be stripped of all my glories. Not happy about that because I don't like wearing my natural hair at all. I feel like I look like a hot mess and I don't like that. And I'm so ready to be done with this MRI. I have to have a brain MRI done today with contrast. So I didn't know exactly where I was going. So I ended up going to a hospital that I normally go to for my MRIs, but uh, they didn't schedule it for that hospital. So now I'm at the children's hospital that I normally come to when I have like my follow-ups and stuff. So I'm getting ready to go in here and find out where this place is at since I've never had an MRI done here. I think I'm gonna be able to get in pretty quick today cause there ain't nobody up in here but me. And I think there's one other person taking a test, but this is like the office. I always like to show the office cause I think Hospitals are so clean. And the receptionist, she's not here, but I'm in here by myself, y'all. So yeah, um, I'm gonna take my test. I'm not so worried about the MRI as much as I'm worried about the dye going into my system. I hear that after a day or two, you start to feel like pain in your arm from where they stuck the needle at and then the dye and stuff. So I'm not, super excited about that but I was trying to vlog earlier today and something was going on with my camera and I ended up having to go on YouTube and find out how to work my own dang on camera but um I had went to a spot earlier and got a massage and got a what else did I get done reflexology or something like that where they do something with your your feet but it really felt good anyway so I did that and from there it was 40 it was a 40 minute drive so 40 minutes i drove to the wrong hospital then drove here so now i'm just um waiting and i haven't eaten nothing all day so my head's hurting a little bit and when i get done hopefully i'll go get something to eat and my battery is dying but this time it's not my fault i had actually charged my battery last night but it fell out of the charger so now i'm about to die and hopefully i can finish this video without my camera dying completely. So I'm gonna get off here and just let my camera sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna pick it back up. So you guys, I am all done and I am getting ready to go home now. And this is me, all done. And I had to get stuck two times because she couldn't. So I'm getting ready to get dressed and I will finish up this video once I get home because like I said, the battery is dying. But overall, it wasn't a bad experience. I've had an MRI done before, just not with the contrast. So I'll tell you guys how all that went in just a little bit. Okay guys, so I was waiting for my camera to charge. I ended up taking myself a nap, which it had nothing to do with the MRI process or anything like that. I was just tired and wanted to take a nap. So I'm gonna tell you guys how the initial MRI went over today for me. When I got there, I, I had to arrive 15 minutes early. When I got there, I got all my paperwork and stuff done. And then I waited for the, the tech to come in and get me. So she took me to a room and I undressed, which I had to take my shirt off. You can actually go with regular clothes on if you don't have any metals or anything like that. But this shirt right here has like all this metal stuff and she didn't want to take a chance in letting me go in with with my shirt on so I ended up having to take my shirt off and put a gown on I took my earrings off and if you have anything metal in your hair like bobby pins or anything like that you have to remove all that stuff I had already knew that I was gonna have to um, remove any bobby pins from my hair so I ended up just wearing my natural my natural hair and that's just for anybody who likes to wear weave or anything like that but other than that um, you wouldn't have this problem so um, I get in the room and I laid on the table and then she went over the process with me and told me how long I was going to be in there for the first session of it, which I had to do two sessions because mine was without contrast and with contrast. So the first session takes the longest without contrast. It takes about 30 minutes. They give you earplugs so the noise doesn't irritate your ears because it can be very loud. It sounds like a siren for the most part and then there's a lot of clicking and vibrating and stuff like that so you do get to wear earpieces 
in the process they do cover your face with a shield around your whole face and if you're claustrophobic it probably will be scary for you because with that shield <clears throat> over your face you kind of look like Hannibal Lecter for real and when they finally push you push you in the machine you're so close that you really have nothing really around you except for the machine and then the shield that's over your face so when I first went in there I was thinking man if I was a heavy set person I really would feel claustrophobic in here because there's really no space left over once they put all that stuff over you so that that part took about 30 minutes then she pulled me out and then it was time to start the contrast part which it wasn't through an IV it was with a butterfly needle which they use on children they use the butterfly needle on children so it's a very small needle it doesn't it doesn't hurt but I told her to do it in my right arm and I don't know why I told her to do it in my right arm because my right arm since back in December when I was sick has been giving me a lot of problems where they can't get blood or anything and they always have to go through my left arm but I guess I told her because it was closer for her I guess on that side so she tried um, on my right arm at first and I knew when she stuck that needle in that it wasn't going to be good because it shouldn't have hurt it in the first place with the needle that she used but it hurt it almost as if she went through my vein and so I'm sitting there and I'm like dang I'm like that hurt it a little bit and so she was jiggling the needle and I, I kept feeling her pulling that needle in and out and out and I was thinking to myself this isn't right this doesn't feel right and so she said I, I can't get nothing through here she was like is it okay if I use the other arm and I was thinking like dang own it so I said yeah that's fine so she bandaged me up here so I still have my bandage on so then she she got it through my left arm and when she stuck me with the needle on my left side I barely felt it at all all they do is they squeeze the tube of um, contrast in you it just felt cold it didn't burn or anything like that because she asked me if it burned and I said no I actually just felt something cool and that was it so after she got done and she um, pushed the contrast through she took the needle out she stuck me back in for an additional like between six to ten minutes I was in there it didn't take long at all and I was done so when I got done I went on ahead and got dressed and everything the only instructions that they have for you when you um, have to get it done with contrast is drink lots of water to flush that dye through your system so I drunk I had a bottle of water in my car so I drunk a bottle of water um, in my car on my way home and I actually didn't need anybody to go with me I thought I might need somebody to go with me because I didn't know how um, I was gonna feel after the fact but I was fine I was cool to drive myself home I got myself something to eat and I came home I ate I drunk some more water and then I took a nap and then I got up so the whole initial process it wasn't bad if you have fears about MRIs or with contrast the only thing that I can say is if you're a claustrophobic type person that will probably be the scariest part for you because it does take about 30 minutes to do it without contrast and you're in that tube for like 30 minutes and it's really really close it feels like you're in a coffin it really does it feels like literally you're in a coffin and the only thing that is hanging out from the waist down is just your legs but they do give you um, a button to push if you have like any questions or if you're starting to get nervous or whatever they have like a button you can push and then they'll pull you right out if you can't go through can't go through with it but overall the experience I've had them done before so it wasn't nothing new to me but just for anybody that's out there you got questions and concerns about MRIs and with contrast or anything like that it wasn't bad at all the dye doesn't hurt but everybody is different but um, the dye being injected in me it didn't hurt at all I felt nothing just something cool going through my veins that was it so um, I just wanted to give you guys uh, my experience on how I went through my MRI process today and 
I'm feeling pretty pretty cool outside of having to get stuck two times this is the only one that actually kind of still bothers me a little bit because like I said she didn't stick me right at all and I could feel that and I knew that when she first stuck that needle in my arm with it being as small as it was it shouldn't have felt like it felt so other than that the whole overall experience was not was not bad at all um, I really feel like anybody can actually get through this process and and be okay with it so i just want to thank you guys for stopping in on my channel you have a great day and if you're not a subscriber go ahead and hit subscribe below so you can get more videos in the future and i will see you guys on another video real soon all right loves i'm out